From above, the Ersund Bridge stretches like a scar of steel connecting two worlds. On one side, Denmark, on the other, Sweden. But what looks like a simple link between countries is actually an engineering enigma, a puzzle where the bridge plunges into the water and re-emerges as an underwater tunnel. Why? What secrets lie within this structure that defies logic? Building a bridge to connect Copenhagen and Malmo seemed like a challenging yet achievable goal. But soon, engineers faced a major obstacle, the heavy maritime traffic of the Ørsund Strait. Massive vessels navigating between the North Sea and the Baltic couldn't be trapped beneath a colossal slab of steel and concrete. Thus emerged a bold idea, a hybrid structure, a bridge that, at a critical point, would disappear into the sea to become a submerged tunnel. It was not just a question of spanning distance, but of respecting coexistence between transportation systems, between nations, and between nature and technology. The bridge had to be a passage, not a blockade. A solution, not a barrier. Imagine a train gracefully gliding above the sea, only to dive beneath the surface as if crossing into another dimension. That's the magic of the Ørsund. But how could such a transformation be achieved without making water the enemy? The answer was as daring as it was ingenious. The construction of an artificial island, Peberholm, which would serve as a seamless transition between bridge and tunnel. This island, created entirely from seabed material dredged during the project, not only solved a structural challenge, but also became a haven for wildlife. Today, Peberholm is a natural laboratory where plants and animals thrive without human interference. It's as if engineering and nature struck a silent agreement to coexist in harmony. Building the tunnel, known as Drogden, was a feat of surgical precision. Unlike traditional tunnels that are bored through the earth, this one was assembled like a massive puzzle. Gigantic prefabricated segments were submerged and laid down with near microscopic precision on the seabed. Every piece had to fit perfectly. Any misalignment could jeopardize the entire structure. As the segments were positioned, divers, engineers, and machines moved in choreographed unison like assembling a watch beneath the ocean surface. Timing, pressure, and alignment became critical forces in this underwater ballet. Since its inauguration in 2000, the Ørsund Bridge has not only been a technical marvel, but also a symbol of unity. Before it existed, traveling from Copenhagen to Malmö required a ferry and could take hours. Now a 10-minute train ride is all it takes, but its impact extends far beyond convenience. Thanks to this connection, the Ørsund region has flourished into a vibrant economic and cultural hub where Danes and Swedes work, study, and live without visible borders. Two nations united by a ribbon of steel and concrete. The Ørsund Bridge is far more than an engineering achievement, it's a living testament to human ingenuity. A reminder that when creativity and technology come together, even the most daunting challenges can be turned into lasting legacies. And its design goes beyond utility, it tells a story. A story of nations coming closer, of barriers turned into paths, of the sea not as a border, but as a shared space. The bridge does not just stand, it invites. It invites connection, collaboration, and the possibility of a future where borders become bridges. So next time you cross a bridge, consider what lies beneath. Millimetric calculations, challenges overcome, and sometimes a mystery that still whispers its story beneath the waves.